Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. Uh, this is the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, unfair, and it is unfair plus even as uh, we have cranked everything up to the maximum and I'm psyching it today. We're continuing this uh, wonderful playthrough. We are in a Necron crypt. We already know these guys are very serious and mean actual business, so not going to fool around uh, the B team. It's going to try their very the best. Blocked, the stairs have collapsed, and there are dead tech priests Creature everywhere. completely what motionless, a uh, like a black statue, the dark metal. Of his body shows a discernible, uh, no discernible damage. You yeah, well, that is be because these guys are still here. alive, man. They happened. They are properly dead. The bodies of the Skitari, whose flesh and armor have been disintegrated in various places, judging uh, by the wounds, they were shot during a hasty retreat. My guess is this guy has, in a last-ditch effort, started to get these guys down and completely and utterly surprising. Before my tempest. We are being ambushed. Good. more of them will be coming alive the question is yeah maybe they come from there I don't know well, that's a good question Marazai students over here Elliot needs a good sniping position that isn't a bad one And Idira stays here as well. Power numbers, as they say. Saiken buffs Idira. Idira begins to buff herself. Burning. And that gives Marazai some dodge so that he survives. Is. It's this here over here. Uh, and. Listen, I think we need to mark uh, this guy. Extra damage, and we're healing ourselves for free just so that we're not taking too much damage. One step. Closer, I will triumph with the Elliot gets the first uh, the first <sighs> if I must uh, take on all of these. The more uh, immortal here needs to die. If it serves your cause. Takes too little damage, we need to open him. This should reduce his armor significantly, and it did so. Alright, let's start. This tedium is beneath me. No weakness is hidden from my sight. One. Two. Nope, not a miss. Two. I understand your intent. Fortune favors the swift. Three. Four. If I must. No weakness is hidden from my sight. I am Five. not your Xenos pet. favors the swift. Gosh, this guy this will not perish. Beneath me. Ancestors Six. guide me. If it serves your cause. Seven. I understand your intent. Eight. <sighs> if I must. Unfortunately for us, he still this tedium is beneath managed to keep his composure uh, due to 
all this stupid um, protocol. Watch my back. Tell me, and it is done. Well, that would be one option. I can do that with the right incentive. Hundred points of damage. You just surely. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. Let's hit this guy. Am I getting paid for? I want a medal. A couple of decent hits. Remember the name. A couple of these hits. I like that new weapon. Uh, melts through armor nicely. I need no guidance. Death shall reign. Vessel for pain. I am its master. Marasai just took a lot of damage. And that Necron warrior there died. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Slowly but surely, all of the other uh, Necrons come to life. Purpose guides me. If it serves your cause. All right. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Second continues to hit and hit and hit. One step closer. Purpose guides me. I will triumph. That was good first uh, attempt. So. Fantastic, that's two kills right there. If it serves your cause. Okay, we can hit this guy, that's exactly what I was hoping for. go 95 percent shot missed that's always great I understand your intent idea could move up to here the question is could she then start hitting anyone yeah that immortal over there. What is this foreboding? Anything else? Will do. All right, let's hit this guy. Unfortunately, he seems to be quite resistant to magic overall so that was almost no damage whatsoever Jay gets a bit of dodge Anything else? and we're good chief The Swift. I 
I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Alright. I will not. This tedium is beneath. More traps. Can we target this guy down there? Apparently we cannot. I understand your intent. Can't hit anyone here with any of our scouting. Earlier descending a bit in the open, I don't like that. Okay, we're just going to track. I can do that with the right incentive. You've got a problem, I've got a prize. Marazai get some healing. I'll take it from here. I hold all the cards. Oblivion and let's see if we can do something meaningful with him. I don't know if we should be uh, doing rending. Uh, that will just increase the resolve. What we should do is this and then move in. There we go, that's the damage I was looking for. This guy must have a lot of armor. Good, he has melting armor, trade of the shattered, bringer of doom, but he is at 150 armor normally. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. I know what I'm doing, usually. Thirty percent chance to hit. Don't get too cocky. But then we're using press the advantage, and things are just turning out much better. All right, good hit. Through chaos, I stride. Good. We still have the good old piercing resolution amidst the carnage i find purpose ruin that we will give ourselves I and let's see no yeah, without armor you you look weak as f Thanks to our talisman, we can attack multiple times. This guy immediately dies. I approach the designated position. Which means we're placing more traps. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Can't really reach anyone there. But it doesn't matter. I will triumph. This is beneath me. Can't move to here. Can, could we do this and then something down there? No. Purpose guide. 
hates me. A blood tribute. Good. More of them. More of them incoming. Uh, Ruin beckons. Somehow this guy didn't take damage. That's unfortunate. Oh, we I got the Necron Warrior over here. Uh, well, there is might as well use this heroic. Never mind, I thought Marazai would charge in, but that apparently was not the case. Right, everybody receives a little bit of a healing, and I think we're okay. Psycho already did a lot. Swift and silent. This tedium is Elliot. I understand your intent. If it serves your cause, begins to kill these guys. Pet monkey. Marazai opens, charges, follow up strike, almost kill them, free attack, and kill. Fantastic. Well, he deals good damage, I like it. The enemies are completely overpowered, which is a bit the problem here. And now it is Abelard's very first turn. Would fallen. you believe it? It has been a while. Follow my lead. So we're doing this and that. I will do my and then duty. a bit of charging. It will be done. Taunting. Victory this and that and a bit of attack. And it is round number two, when the gates are slowly opening. So we are nowhere near uh, of being done here. Okay, you guys up here definitely will need to be the next the next targets. In the meantime, we'll do. burn this warrior to the ground, and with it one of its companions over there. Necron death mark. These guys need to die. What of course. And Anybody Lyra else? gives herself forewarning. Before moving into cover they because she doesn't want to be sniped. Death, death mark unfortunately moved out of uh, the area. Uh, that is annoying. If it serves your death with my hands.
This tedium is beneath me. <sighs> if Mark if gets more must. stacks. I am not your Xenos pet, Monkey. I understand your intent. And this we're following him. Is beneath me. Jay. This battlefield air is good for my lungs. Okay, um... A moving target lives longer. One hit, uh, one buff, two Don't buffs, three it. buffs. And early it goes for it. And unfortunately wastes her entire turn by needing to reload. What a shame. Am I getting paid for this? Good hit. Fantastic hit to be precise. Our weapon does have a bit of a short range. Okay, that is good. Moves to there. Beckons. I will triumph. Behold, as I slay them in my devotion. That is fine. No, no, no. You can't be dead. What? Why? What has just happened? Something is wrong here. I will need to review it after that battle. But it can't be it can't be intended that our Drukari and Alderi are readily dying as part of this exercise. This is just bullshit. One step closer. I will triumph. Living on the edge. That is bullshit. But okay, it is what it is now. Can't really change it. I can do that with the right incentive. Never cross a Kazbalikin. Tell me and it is done. Whoa! I want a medal for that one. Don't get too cocky. I'd like to, but I can't. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Good. Something here is awkwardly wrong. I will not stoop to this. All right, Abelard. At your back and That's unfortunate, by the way, that we. It will be done. Indeed. That we missed out uh, on uh, Iliad and Malazar. I need to I need to rectify that. Iliad would have been such a treat here. She just uh, got all of her buffs and the range damage would have been phenomenal Good, we don't need to do anything, anything else here. 
The veil is uh, dangerously, dangerously low at this point. Uh, at this point. Oh come on! The death marks are a problem. The warriors not so much, but the death marks. You got to work through that. I know what I'm doing. Usually. Okay, so I you and you and you and uh, Saika needs to solve this here. time Jay just got knocked over I think something is absolutely wrong I reject the very best. Abelard, you're the last one uh, here together with me. Purpose you fail me. I will do my duty. It will be done. Victory is imminent. We'll rule the stars themselves. I took care of this one. At your back and forth. All right. Um, Abelard can't move up there, so that's a no-no. I will do my duty. But he can stay close to Saiken because the battle gives Saiken uh, defenses. Victory is imminent. Indeed. Psych moves uh, down here. I won't waste my time on that. I will do my duty. At your back and call. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Fantastic. Deathmar came out of hiding. Saigon moves up. I need what a satisfying demise. And that was a bad fight. I'm unhappy about uh, the incorrect uh, damage that uh, that is being applied that was really really bad here we could have activated stairways to the left and to the right let's first of all get rid of uh, the wounds powers unseen uncover my path All right, after a thorough investigation, I found out uh, what uh, the actual reason was, and that is stupid, stupid. Uh, there is no other way of saying it. So there is a talent which is called Death Dealer. And essentially uh, what it does is whenever you uh, kill an enemy, 
uh, you the character uses the same weapon in order to uh, attack another nearby enemy. Now on paper that looks cool and I think for ballistic weapons absolutely good but here is the problem the character decides approximately what weapon they would want to use if nothing else is at their disposal so in Saigon's case since he Your is, uh, is always there for you. Uh, since he is I running the Emperor's uh, Wrath that, that cannot be used again so in the mind or logic the of the game it'll take the next closest weapon which in his case was Psychic Assault and as you can see, if you are uh, targeting an enemy, uh, you're just ruthlessly shooting into your own guys. And I was dealing like 800 points of damage uh, to my own characters because uh, I basically just sniped them to death. And it took me three combats to now fully understand that mechanic. Holy smokes, uh, that is not good. Uh, needless to say that I needed to reskill Saiken and uh, got rid of uh, the uh, talent. That is pretty damn bad. Uh, and should be definitely reviewed. Like, why would a character not use... Um, why would they not use a single target scream? Uh, which, by the way, he also has. Embrace so there is no reason power. not to use it. But apparently, yeah, the game thought it would be a good idea. Hey, you know what? If he anyways has um, an AoE attack, why wouldn't he just use that and shoot his own guys? Well, turns out it's not a good idea. Anyways, Gaze of the Void. This weapon attack, uh, what does it do? This weapon attack projects additional rays, each dealing 30 points to three random enemies in 10, ten cell radius around the prime. Hmm. Also actually a really good weapon. When the wearer moves uh, one of their combat tactics, the bonus granted uh, by this area are doubled. Okay, well, um, okay, so that's good stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have the necessary strings requirement. Ah. Gaze of the Void looks good. Uh, no strengths here as well. Oh, he could use it, but his ballistic skill is awful. Well, wrong build. Wrong build. Unfortunate. The world trembles beneath my feet. As you approach, the black metal and the ancient plate begins to move. Strange uh, geometric shapes and symbols of some kind appear on the surface uh, and host smaller symbols uh, glitches above them. They are no less mysterious and inscrutable. Touch the surface carefully. At first, the metal feels not much different from plat steel, but as you apply a little pressure, it becomes um, pliant and vicious like cold resin. Uh, emerald green marks linger. Uh, Try to carve in initials. You spend several minutes trying to carve your initials into the ancient Xenor artifact with your knife, but the metal instantly heals any damage. The idea seems more pointless with eager passing moment. Intriguing. I like the fight, by the way. I think the fight was absolutely well done here. Uh, that you're starting in the middle and needed to fight against all of them and then portals open and more uh, Necrons come. Alright, Lord Captain, are you injured? Sound of mind, why am I even asking? The answer is obvious for a while now. The slab withstand your anger stoically and continues to silent display of the same inco incomprehensible symbol. Uh, this calls for a less barbaric method of interaction. Let's seize the opportunity. Well, I think we might want to interact with the huge panel down here. There's, by the way, another 
you're looking at a part of a system of pylons use the small Xenos repair mechanisms to move around. The yeah, these are the scarabs. These are the scarabs that we have seen. Embrace true power. All buried under a thick layer of dust, these crates contain equipment still in prime condition. Well, that might be the case. I am more looking the world trembles beneath my feet to work through what we've just found here. I mean, we've killed a couple of these guys. Maybe what we found will help us. So, last confession of Magos uh, Delta Praximus run. You will find no grace in the machine god in these uh, faithless halls, only unholy hatred that is more ancient than the fading stars. They are asleep, legion of innumerable horse, but the uh, sleep is at an end for no one's fault but mine. I have disturbed the slumber of an ancient uh, mind driven only by thirst for extermination. Even death cannot snuff out the cold green flame of these lifeless eyes. I hear lockstep the march of doom. The silent echoes the silence of uh, assassins, for death has no words. Mercy unknown to the Nephilim uh, Max, um, his wayward and unholy firstborn well i mean we got a little bit of loot I out of it so that's not bad but i would like to explore a bit deeper unfortunately judging by the debris the passage was blocked on purpose intriguing We did not decipher the language of the Xenos race. Okay, so maybe we need to come back when we know more about their language. All right. The edge of the platform are twisted and melted. It appears to have been deliberately damaged by a powerful explosive. Look, there is more down there. I can see it. Embrace true power. Well, I think that's what we can do at this moment. I vow to come back and uh, do what needs to be done at a later stage. And we haven't been attacked, so I think that's pretty much it. Bit of a disappointing combat performance, and I must apologize for that. I didn't know uh, that Death Dealer would work the way it worked. Um, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate. No further systems here. So we're going to explore this one uh, the next time when we're playing Rogue Trader. For now, I think we've come to a delightful end. Um, most of the systems are explored and I just saw a um, achievement popping up that I have explored all system in the Coronas Expanse, which tells us that that is truly and 100% kind of the end uh, of uh, all of uh, it. So we're on the final uh, on the final leg of this journey. With that, I th uh, say thank you, and we're going to see each other in potentially maybe the one one of the few last missions uh, the next time. Take care, have a good one, and bye bye.